a cracked hubcap and it finally fell off. I don't know when or where. So I littered the earth somewhere with a hubcap. And it's been driving me crazy riding around with just this one missing. So I finally went and got some new ones. So I'm gonna show you how to install and remove hubcaps. Before you buy them, of course, you need to know what size you need. I needed the 15 inch. And to find out what size, you need to go look at your tire. And there's going to be a bunch of numbers and codes and all these different things. You just need to find the number that starts with an R. And the number that's next to it is the size of your rim. So R15, 15, 15 inch wheel covers. It, yours could say 14, it could say 16. We're doing Walmart hubcaps today. For the installation, recommended a rubber mallet, but palm of your hand should be good too. Let's open these up. These are from Walmart, but Amazon has them too. And they also come with these metal rings. I believe to help with the fit the fitting on there all right and so make sure where your valve stem is there should be a notch in your hubcap for your valve stem so make sure those are gonna be lined up all right and then you're gonna take your ring and you are gonna put it on the inside of all of these clips so start with the top notch and we're just gonna make sure it fits in underneath all of these. So now I've got this, the, what is this thing? The ring, the metal ring in place. Now I'm just going to make sure that the valve stem and the little notch in the hubcap are lined up. Just press it up to your wheel. you should be able to use your palm but we got this to just gently pop all them tabs in place there you go it's all in it's on there secure let me show you how to take off the old one because this one was already falling off all right, so they're all pretty standard. It's gonna be the same as the new ones that you bought. I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of wedge it in there to pop out the old cover. Lemon squeezy. And we've got the other hubcap wheel cover, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to find the notch for the valve stem. Pop these rings in place. Make sure it's lined up in the right notches all around. All right, there we go, it's all in. Valve stem lined up with the notch right here. Okay, so it'd be like that, it's all good. It's what we're here for. So you can use like some extra limbs, get a foot in there, hand on it. There we go. takes a little finessing. There we go. Nice and secure. Oh, no, we're sticking out. There we go. Nice and secure. My flathead, sticking it in there. There we go.
Hopefully you're not going to want to scratch it all over the ground like I am. All right, that one was a little pain in the butt. All right, let's get this wheel on. All right, nice and secure. Last one, let's get the screwdriver in. Nice and on there. Very quick and easy way to change the look of your car if you're bored, add a little customization to it. Nothing too fancy and looks better than the plain wheel by itself by a lot. Thanks for watching.